Hey Pisces, this is your reading for May of 2022. All right, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you for coming back. I know I haven't been here in a few months, so I hope you are having a wonderful year. I have been over on TikTok, so if you have not been over there, I am loving it over there. Um, I've been doing readings and a lot of other videos in regards to manifestation, healing, spirituality, loved ones on the other side, dreaming, all these awesome things. So definitely check it out if you are on TikTok. And if you aren't, you should really be over there. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So I am a psychic medium and a intuitive energy healer. Healer, And in this reading, you're going to get the message from spirit as well as the energy healing to go along with it. Now our energy holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So when we work with your energy, we release a lot of the stuff from the past. And the energy is the biggest part piece of the puzzle that you're missing, especially if you're in therapy and you feel as though you're not getting anywhere. All right, so let's get started. So we have the Four of Swords, the Judgment card, the Six of Cups, and the King of Cups. Now this is for the beginning of the month. So I feel as though you're doing really good. Let me take a peek at these other cards here. Yeah, I feel like May is going to be kind of like your month. Uh, you're definitely getting, again, this death card, it, I think it has popped up in every single reading this, this month. Um, I talk about like the stagnation that we've all been feeling. We're kind of like waiting for something to click is kind of what I'm getting. Let me know if that resonates with you, but I feel as though this is a really good month for you. I feel like you're coming out of the stagnation period, stagnation, right? Four of swords. You can see she's laying there in the, in the snow, You've got the Judgment card and the Six of Cups, which is, I, I love this card. I think this is probably one of my favorite cards in the deck. She is this little girl, right? This is like our inner child, giving ourselves our light back. So being able to play and have fun again instead of being so serious. And if you look at the past few years for us, things have been very serious. And it's time to like let ourselves out of that and like actually have fun is what I'm getting here. And with the King of Cups, I am just seeing you guys dancing around. Allowing yourself to be free is basically what I'm feeling here, especially with this judgment card. It's just uh, like changing. No, I don't even feel like it's that. I just feel like you're you're dancing. You're allowing yourself to express yourself in different ways than you might never have had before. And with the middle of the month, we've got the five of swords, the death card, the world, and the magician. So I feel like you're getting over like this is what I think you're freeing yourself from is somebody that stabbed you in the back, somebody that betrayed you, uh, left you, uh, cheated on you, anything like that where you felt like you were stabbed in the back. I feel like you're moving on from that with this death card. This is a transformation. And look at what we transfer into. We transfer into the world and the magician. So one thing I want you to be aware of is whatever this is, this five of swords where you have been stabbed in the back, it's part of your journey. And this is sometimes where we can get stuck in the victim mentality as to like, I can't believe they did that to me. Like, how do I move on from this? And we get stuck in this victim mentality and you have every right to do that. But the only person that that's hurting is you. So when you can step out of the victim mentality and realize that this was supposed to happen so that you can now get back on the right path, okay? Um, or it needed to happen so that you did get on the right path. Okay, this would be like for me with my divorce, that needed to happen else I wouldn't even be here with you guys right now. And it's just so funny because we can't know that until we look back. So you have to trust in going forward. And that's kind of what this is about with the magician and the world card. Like the world is yours, but we need you to trust in that. And this magician, we need you to trust that everything is on its way to you, even as hard as it is to kind of go through this betrayal is allowing yourself to realize that there's more happiness in front of you than there was behind you, okay? With that, we have the lovers at the end of the month, the nine of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and the page of cups. Some of you, I feel like, will get into another relationship. So if this is a relationship that is kind of like uh, ending, like realize that there's another one right around the corner for you. And again, this had to happen so that this happens. And I am feeling like this is a relationship for some of you. If you're not looking for a relationship, it might find you. <laughs> but if you're not even interested in that at all, 
This is more about connecting to yourself, connecting to your higher self, connecting to um, spirits on the other side. You know, the lover's card is just about finding yourself again. That's a really strong message that's been coming through. Independence here with this nine of pentacles. So again, you've got the lovers, but you also got the nine of pentacles right next to each other. So it's kind of contradicting. But what that means to me is in order to have a fulfilling relationship, and you've got the ace of pentacles, something new coming in. So in order to have a fulfilling relationship, you have to be secure and loving yourself before you get into a relationship. Okay, that is when it's going to be a fulfilling relationship, a, a relationship that lights you up inside and doesn't take you down. And that's with the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely something new coming in for you here, um, especially with the Page of Cups, is just be patient. Just be patient. I know we're in the stagnation. I do feel like you're going to be coming out of it, but you're doing the inner work. You're doing, the, you're prep, preparing in order for you to get out of this. Okay, so just be patient, especially with the Magician. You know, one thing with manifestation is when it doesn't come as quickly as we want, we kind of lower our vibration. We feel defeated in it. And when we allow ourselves to recognize that we don't, we don't, we're not in control of the time period of this, but if you just keep trusting that it will eventually happen, I always say to myself, well, when it really happens, all of this waiting time isn't really going to matter anymore because you're going to have the thing that you want. So really kind of focus on that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do energy healing. Uh, if you haven't done this with me before, all I'm going to do is connect a universal energy. So that's either God, the divine, whoever you believe on, Buddha, whoever you believe on on the other side. Um, and we're going to connect that with your energy to release any blockages or trapped emotions around this. So I really want to focus on this five of swords, uh, really kind of releasing the energy around this. So what I want you to do is I want you to think of what this is. So what is the betrayal? that you are holding on to, that is kind of dimming your light, not letting you have fun in life, not letting you move forward. Uh, just bring that to the surface right now because we're going to work with the energy around that. Now, the way that I see is energy gets stuck around certain events. So whatever this bet betrayal is, I feel as though there's energy stuck around that. So we're going to go ahead and release that for you. Okay, I'm going to pull some more cards throughout this energy work. So just stay tuned for that message as well. Okay, all you're going to do is just listen to some music and close your eyes and just relax. And I'm going to do the energy work, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes and take a deep breath in and let it out. And then go ahead and take another deep breath in. And then go ahead and let it out. Stretch out your shoulders a little bit. Just relax into your body. And just one more time, take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. Whatever thoughts come in, it's just going to be a couple of minutes. Whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in. Let them flow out. Here we go. <laughs>
ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. And go ahead and take another deep breath in. You can open your eyes if you've had them shut and then go ahead and let that breath out. All right, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed the energy healing. Um, the cards that popped out for you here are the Page of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Wands. And I feel as though this is what it's telling us what to do different next time. So we have the Page of Swords. So this is about boundaries to me. This is about setting and enforcing your boundaries. Now, I work with a lot of women to help them do that because what happens is we don't feel good enough or worthy enough to actually enforce our boundaries. We will set a boundary, but then people will still walk all over it and we will feel guilty or bad in, um, in order to enforce that. We, you know, so it gives us, it makes a hard time for you to set boundaries, but you've got the two of cups, which is a, is a relationship. So I do feel like I said, there is a relationship coming up for you guys, but do things differently this time. Whatever this was stabbed in the back here, again, this could be work relationship. It could be any kind of relationship, but make sure that you set boundaries in the beginning of the relationship because it's harder to set boundaries as you move forward because people are so used to what you're already doing. So it's like telling a three-year-old just to change the way they act, yet they've been acting this way for a whole year now. And it's going to be very, very hard where, it, you know, it's like for me when I had my puppy, I, you know, set boundaries right away because then they don't get used to something else. So therefore, what we're saying here is to make sure that you're setting your boundaries right away in any relationship that you form. Don't let people walk all over you in the beginning. Now, also with this three of wands, it is time for you to look towards the future, to let whatever this is go, to let it die, right? With the death card, to let this betrayal go, to let it die, let it go in the past and to move towards the future. Because again, there's this beautiful stuff here, especially at the end of May, waiting for you, um, to have such a better, full, beautiful, more playful life. So allowing yourself to have that and make sure that you do things differently because if nothing changes, nothing changes. So you will just get into the same pattern again. So make sure that you do that inner work so that you are able to enforce those boundaries. And I always tell my clients that I work with, it's like my goal is to help you have hard conversations and make hard decisions in your life. Because I know that if you can do those two things, you're always going to be protected and you're always going to be safe. All right. Safe from other people hurting you. All right. Um, so I hope that resonates with you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel with a little bell notification if you want to get notified when I have new videos coming out. And then I also have my Heal Your uh, Childhood Trauma free three-day challenge starting on May 9th. So if you want to join me in that, you can go ahead and sign up in the description box below. I'm sending you so much love. Good luck with everything. And I'm excited to see this transformation for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.